Hi, this is Perry Marshall, and I want to illustrate a key property of information and language using Apple's autofill feature on the iPhone. So I'm going to create a little game here, and we're going to create a text message three different ways. One way, uh, the first time, we're going to create a text message where I can only use the autofill, and I'm going to pick the best word uh, that I can. And then I'm just going to pick the first choice. And then I'm going to pick random choices. And it's going to make clear a major problem with artificial intelligence as well as biology. So I'm going to get this started just by typing one word. And then after this, I'm only allowed to choose from what's already on the screen. So hi there. Are you guys coming over today? Or are you going to be home today? I have some stuff to do that I need to get done with the kids and tomorrow night I wanna do well at this point I have probably run out of good choices that uh, are gonna make a sensible sentence but so far I actually managed to do it so let's start over with a different set of rules and the new set of rules is I'm just going to pick the first choice. Now, you see something very interesting here. I can do not get to see you tomorrow night, and I can do it tomorrow night, and I can do it tomorrow night, and I can do it. It gets stuck. Um, and all genetic al algorithms, which are evolutionary programs, um, have this problem. Now, the way that evolutionary algorithms typically get around the problem is when they get stuck, they're programmed to, to do something random, which might get them out of the loop. Well, so I want to illustrate that too. So I'm going to start over. And now instead of uh, picking the first choice, I'm just going to bounce around and pick random choices. And what do I get then? Yes, I can ask them for a dinner emoji. Was a good night for you guys to do dinner emoji? Is that the one that you sent him to you get a? And as you see, all this gets you is spam. And what this illustrates is that in order to create language, you have to have intentionality or what uh, philosophers call agency. Uh, I am a human agent. I am self-aware. I know what I'm trying to do. Um, and, and so I can think forward into the future. The problem with an algorithm is all an algorithm can do is look at the present, which is whatever you just typed in, and then make a calculation based on statistical probabilities that have happened in the past. And so an algorithm is always looking in the rear view mirror, if you will. And this is a fundamental problem with all computer programs, is none of them have any kind of self-awareness. And they can only learn from what has already happened. Uh, they don't actually anticipate the future the way humans or, or even dogs and cats do. So uh, in, in information theory, um, this is the dotted line between mathematical analysis, which works at one level, versus creativity, which the mathematical analysis is unable to address. And this is the most fundamental problem in biology and evolution because when Barbara McClintock damaged the chromosomes of her corn plants and found that the plant literally rearranged the chromosomes and evolved in real time, 
What a lot of people don't realize is the plant was actually making a choice based on what might work in the future. And it did something that no corn plant had ever done because it was in a situation that no corn plant had ever been in. And, it, and what the plant did wasn't random. It obeyed some kind of linguistic rules. And the plant was anticipating what might work in the future. And this is a property of all biological systems that does not exist in human systems. And this is arguably one of the biggest unanswered scientific questions of all time. And it's the essential motivation behind the Evolution 2.0 prize.